Good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Uh, this is the continuing of our lesson for today. The public administrations, the evolutions of public administration. The term public administration stands for two implications. Firstly, it refers to the activity of administrating the affairs of the government like enforcement of the law and order. Secondly, it refers to a branch of a study like political science and sociology, etc. Public administrations as a discipline is not a very old one. In fact, it was originated in 1887 when the former American President Woodrow Wilson wrote an article entitled The Study of Administrations in Political Science Quarterly. No? However, public administrations as a practice, it is uh, as old as our civilizations. And yet, uh, public administration has passed through a several phases of development. One can broadly divide the public administrations the following six periods. The first period, public administrations dichotomy. In 1887-1926, the second stage principles of administrations in 1927 to 1937, the third era of challenge, 1938 to 1948, the fourth uh, crisis of identity, 1948 to 1970, public uh, policy perspective in 1971 and 1921 in the fifth stage, and the sixth stage is uh, was as growing to steering 1991 up to the present. In first stage in 1987 to 1926, public administrations as discipline was born in the United States, and that country continues to enrich in even today. Woodrow Wilson, no, the father of public administrations, teaches political science of the Princeton University, and he was become the, the president of the United States. In 1900, when Frank Godno published his Politics and Administration, in it, Godno developed the Wilsonian team further with a greater courage and conviction. He argued that political administrations were two distinct functions uh, of government. According to him, politics has to do with policies, policies and or uh, expression of the state will, while administration has to do with the execution of the peace policies. In 1914, the American Political Science Association published a report which delineated the objective, objectives of the teachings political science. One of the objectives proclaimed was to prepare specialists for governmental positions. Thus, public administration was recognized as an important sub-area of political science, and its study was increased in the universities of America. In 1926, Leonard White introduction the first textbook of public administration. This book faithfully reflects the dominant theme of the contemporary period. The uh, premises are the politics and administrations are to be kept separate, and efficiency and economy are the watchword, uh, watchword of the public administrations. In the second stage, 1927-1937, this period opened with the publications of W. F. Willoughby, Principles of Public Administrations in 1927, 
This title of the book is a very subjective and it indicates very correctively the new trust of the discipline. This period saw the publications of the number of works, the more important among them being Mary Parker Polly, Creative of Experience, Henry Payol, Industria and General Management, Money, and really principles of organizations. No? In, uh, in short, in short, the year 1937 to 1937, where the this is the golden years of the principles in the history of public administrations. This is also a period when public administrations commanded a high degree of respective of its products were a great demand both in government and business. The third period in 1938 to 1947, Chester Bernard, The Functions of the Executive was published. This book discussed the broader issues of administrations such as uh, formal and informal functions, functional overlay, organizational environment, equilibrium among organizational units, and in inducement contributions. Herbert Simon wrote an article entitled The Proverbs of the Administrations in 1946. Its argument was for to develop in his administrative behavior, which was published in 1947, and on which he was awarded the Nobel Prize in the year 1978. Robert Dahl, in 1947, was the claim the public administration is a science, no? A challenge. And he agreed that the quest of poor principles of administration was obstructed by three factors. These were uh, values uh, permit, per, permitting administrations while science is value-free, besides humans' personalities and deeper, and so do the social framework in which organizational have inevitability to operate. As a result of criticism, public administration found itself in the depleted positions and the morale of the discipline was low. In the fourth stage in 1948-1970, this period has been one of the crises for public administrations. Now the brave new world promised by the thinkers of the principles era is thought shattered. The futures of the discipline appeared to be a little uncertain. Public administration was facing a crisis of identity. Many public administrations responded in this crisis of identity by returning to the fold of the mother science, namely political science. But they discovered no, that they were not very much welcome to the home of their youth. Many political scientists began to argue that the true objectives of the teachings in the field was intellectualized understanding of the executive. This was also talked of the continued dominion of political science over public administrations. The process of the emphasis of public administrations in the larger discipline of political science got, if anything, accelerated in 1960s. In short, the period witnessed the spectacle of political science not only not letting public administration separate itself from it, but also not fostering and encouraging its growth and development 
within its own field. In the period, the fifth period, no, 1971 to 1991, public administrations during 1971 to 1991 is registered progress and entered the 70s with an enriched vision public administrations attracted within each fold scholar from uh, various disciplines and those who was becoming truly and disciplinary in its nature. In the six periods and the presence in 1921, this period was the seeds no, which began in the year 1991, where shown in the preceding one, the public bureaucracy was viewed as the society favorite solutions to the public confronting the solutions filled of being delusions with the bureaucracy leading it to search for its alternatives. The alternative discovered are the market and non-government organizations. New public management and the civil society are emerging few, few paradigm. Okay, and thank you very much. And this is the evolutions of public administrations. Thank you and God bless.